flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and I am getting ready for Mother's Day. It is the Friday before and I have a few dozen orders that I have to put together. So I'm getting stuff ready and I will make the bouquets later today, which will also be later in this video. So already this morning, I have taken the tulips and the daffodils out of the refrigerator. They've been in the big old commercial refrigerator and two bonus refrigerators we just happen to have here. I call them my flower fridges. That's not what they're supposed to be for, but that's what they ended up being for. So anyway, I took them out of the fridge because when tulips come out of the fridge, a number of things can happen. Number one, they can be kind of limp and weak, especially if you're storing them without the bulb. If you're storing them with the bulb on, which I did in many of, many of the cases here, some of them kind of broke off, but if you're storing them with the bulb on, they tend to be a little sturdier. But usually when you take them out of the fridge, they can be a little stiff, and if you try to work with them right away, you might end up breaking a few. So I like to let them rest, by taking them out of the fridge and letting them sit for a couple of hours. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean them all up. Last year, I didn't clean them up and I ended up having to clean while I was making the bouquets. It didn't work out well. So I decided this year I'm gonna go through and clean all the stems first and then I will make the bouquets after I clean everything. Okay, so why don't we talk about what is actually going into the bouquets this year. I have a number of things. I am so sensitive to the brightness of the sun. So what we have here are a number of specialty daffodils. I have White Lion, I have Westward, which are these beautiful double yellows. It's gonna be hard for me to find one open because I like to make sure that they're just opening up for customers. Okay, so here are some that are opening up. It's basically a beautiful double white with yellow kind of frilly petals in the middle. Look at the nice long stems on them, they're gorgeous. We have a favorite coming back from last year. This is called Tahiti. Tahiti is a beautiful yellow with the orange frilly petals mixed in. Uh, we have some Replete, which is uh, one that you guys saw me working with last week for the first member, CSA member bouquet that I have. I love Replete. It's got that apricot peach tone. That is more Tahiti. I also have one called Dick Wilden, and this one is new to me this year. Uh, let's see. Here are a couple. So these ones, they're basically a double, double yellow. Double, double, beautiful, frilly, yellow. I love them. I have the tulips. We have a couple of crates worth of the Easter egg mixture, and then I have the Exotic Emperor, which are the white ones right here. And then I also have some random ones that just started to uh, ripen up in the field, including, I believe, some red ones called King's Blood. And then I also have behind me here are the light purple ones, and that is the Candy Prince. Those are beautiful as well. So today's bouquets will be a mixture of things. I'll have the daffodils and the tulips in most of them. Some people ordered a straight daffodil bouquet, and then some people ordered some in the vase, which will be different than the wrapped arrangement, obviously. It'll look similar, but it will also um, have a different kind of feel to it because it won't have the paper on it. It'll be in the vase. And for fillers today, I went foraging down the hill, and this is some different types of willow. Actually, my flower friend Gina came over to visit me yesterday, and she brought me about 20 stems of some from her house, which is, this is the taller stuff. Gina cut me some really tall stuff. And then this shorter stuff over on this side is stuff that I cut from down the hill. And then these red twigs, this is dogwood. We just have it growing naturally around here. I also have something that's called a dried fern pod, and that is just basically the skeleton of the fern that grew last year. It dries up. It's a beautiful structure and color in my bouquets. I used it last year, and I'm using a slightly different one this year. Let me grab it. I went to go get these fern pods, and I came back, and my husband's hysterically laughing at me in the corner. I don't know what's so funny. He's laughing at the way that I have set up my display of flowers, but this is the only way. Why is, why is it funny? He shrugs his shoulders. He's a man of few words. Anyway, we've got the peanut gallery in the back. These are the fern pods that I'm using. I do not know what these ferns are. I found these at my father's house and I was like, ooh, <laughs> this is different. This is beautiful. This is fun. These are the pods that I'm using this year. So these have to be treated. Okay, this is something I haven't talked about in years past. If you use the fern pods, basically the spores will release and you get little dust all over your flowers if you use them untreated. It's a trick that uh, I learned from florists and they spray them with an unscented hairspray and uh, that is how you prevent the spores from falling and making your bouquet a dirty rotten mess. A dirty rotten mess. 
Come here, Mila. Mila is the only chicken that I allow to be in the garage because she's so sweet. Say hello. Say hello. So in addition to the fern pods, the willows, the tulips, the daffodils, there, there's nothing else. I don't know why I said in addition. What? I was laughing. Why are you laughing at me all the time? Because you said fern pods and then willows. That's why. Fern and willow. <laughs> Brad's laughing because of fern and willow. Those are the names of my dogs. I have ferns and willows. I did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we have the willows, the dogwood. <laughs> ridiculous. Ferns, willows, dogwood, <laughs> tulips, and daffodils. Those are the ingredients. No chickens, though. You can do Mila. So you can see that I store these tulips with the bulbs on and I usually dunk them and rinse them off and stuff like that but they don't get all the way clean when you're doing that process so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the bulbs off and clean them right now So when I remove the bulbs, I typically remove the lower leaves. I like to leave the ones up top for more green filler, but I just peel back the bottom. A lot of times mud, mud, it's just mud. Tulips are squeaky. So I just got back from a little bit of a road trip. I went to the neighboring city to pick up the miniature charcuterie boards that my friend Lynn made for us. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So I was supposed to also have cookies to sell this week with the Mother's Day sale, but the lady that I had doing the cookies had an emergency and could not do that. So I was selling the bouquets, the custom pottery vases, those are sold out by the way, um, and then I also was adding on a miniature charcuterie. It's, it's not a board, but it's a package, so I'll show you. How cute is this? It's got cheeses, honey, jam, some dried fruits, some crackers, some um, like dehydrated oranges, candied oranges, lots of cheeses. Oh my gosh, she has little cheese like spoons with her company engraved. This is Lakeside Cheese Boards. My friend Lynn um, does this beautiful. She made um, an extra one for, uh, for me and the kids and Brad and I, we just ate it. Everything was delicious. I'm so excited. So I have a couple of extra of those for the porch sales as well. So I have everything cleaned and ready. It honestly took me about two hours to strip the bulbs, all the lower leaves, and have everything ready to just arrange. Sorry, I just poked him. Okay, so this is the Tahiti, but this is the Dick Wilden, guys. Look how beautiful and double these are. So excited. And then obviously the Tahiti is different. It's got that orange, beautiful vibe inside. Okay, so lots of different things. Oh, and I have, I think it's Professor Einstein. He started blooming today, so I have some of those. I'm following more of a recipe today because it's just a lot easier. Uh, it, when the bouquets have a recipe, especially with the number that I'm doing, I think I wanna get 40 of them put together. That way I have enough for my orders and then a few extra, and then I can make more in the morning. But I wanna show you what happens to tulips because tulips will actually continue to grow after you cut them and put them in an arrangement. 
Wrong fridge. I made this yesterday just for show to take a picture and uh, look at the tulips all this morning. They're all a couple of inches higher than they were when I made this bouquet. So that you have to pay attention. I mean, it's okay, it still looks nice, but just so you know, wherever your tulips are in the arrangement, they will grow a little bit. So just be aware. Isn't that so pretty? So basically this is the recipe for my Mother's Day bouquets. This is a $30 hand tied bouquet. That's my price for Mother's Day. I also have a $20 smaller bouquet. I will have some of those available tomorrow as well. So I basically have, I think I have eight tulips. I might have maybe more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine tulips in this one and then I think I have the same number of daffodils. I have 10 tulips in this one. So it's 10 tulips and then eight to 10 daffodils, and then, sorry, I'm so tired. So there are 10 tulips in this one, eight daffodils, kinda just gonna follow the same recipe with a little bit of the filler, and that is my $30 Mother's Day bouquet. Needs a sticker though. So I'm just gonna get going and make a bunch of these. So I have my coffee, and I moved the chairs moving the chairs so I can just walk around the table. I have my bouquet cutter and my paper and my staple and my stickers here. I'm gonna do the wrapped ones first and put them in the bucket and then I'm gonna bring the vases down and do the vases. All right, here we go. Everyone's getting a white tulip. Lots of white tulips. Oh yes, got some yellow ones in there. So I'm tucking the tulips down a little bit, knowing that by the morning they'll be high. Also, you wanna be careful. I'm not gonna be cutting the daffodils again because they exude a sap. Some people can have done it with success, but that sap can like lessen the life of the tulips. So I'm only gonna be cutting the tulips and I'm choosing daffodils that are a little bit shorter so I don't have to worry about cutting those again as well. Who's texting me? You know what this doesn't have yet? Let me put this back. Um, the Dick Wilden ones, yes, this darling. And I'm choosing it, it's gonna be shorter so I don't have to worry about cutting it. Perfect. Rubber bands. Babe, I'm recording. Which is fine, you can talk, I'm just letting you know. Whatever you say can be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty. Probably should have tucked this one down a little bit more, a little bit more. I don't have enough ferns to do them in all, so I'm gonna do them in a few and people are gonna be able to pick and choose which ones they want. I love it. The lighting here is horrible, sorry. color is hard to see. Look at this color. It's one of the Easter egg mix. It's like a, a corally red. Beautiful. Started tonight. Two hours per oh, that's what it says, dear. That's what it says. He's trying to calculate how long my Mother's Day meal is going to take to cook. I, want, I told him I just wanted something in the smoker. So figure it out, man. Figure it out. I can't get over these double ones. Double mint, double mint, gum. And they smell so good. Fern pods. Enter fern pods. What's bothering me? Replete. Replete, I need you. Ooh. You're gorgeous, weren't you? Feels too tall for me. 
Okay. That's another beauty. You can't be in this arrangement, sorry. You can. Nope. Not you either. You. It's too, it was too tall. I can only cut two lips. Narcissist cannot be cut again because they'll ooze a secret poison. That one looks great. I was dumping out the um, one of the channel trays into the garbage and do you remember how I was using Veda's baby spoon from the hospital to, I dropped it in the garbage. I found it. I had to get a flashlight and go through the garbage, but it's her hospital spoon. I was using it to transplant things. I really love the way these are, I just can't get over how beautiful they are. I would buy these tulips again. These are the Easter egg mix from ADR Bulbs. It's actually a New York State bulb company. They came in clutch for me last year when a bunch of my bulb orders were canceled and they still had stuff, so. Woohoo! I don't think we need a turn around to do one. I, th I think we should have one that goes up to the hoop house, up to the hoop house and then on the other side of the shed. A big loop. You don't think so? Maybe. Probably be easier for others to be guys since they come here every day. What? I don't get deliveries every day. I think pretty much we do. These are so pretty. The Westbird ones. It doesn't really matter where I put them. The tulips are going to grow three inches by the time the morning comes anyway. Oh my. <laughs> this daffodil got a little too. That's okay. Plenty more where that came from. Ah, look. An even fresher one. This is six of them. Only a million more to go, but it doesn't take too long. You know, when you have a recipe and you follow it, it works. I'm not sure if I like the ones with ferns better or without ferns better. I don't know. I really like all of the elements in these ones today. Okay, next, next, next. I got the spare bucket of tulips out of the fridge so it could sit for a little bit. I keep getting more orders on my website, so I think I might have to pull more tulips. I know I have to clean more. Oh, oh my gosh. Number eight. Number eight. Hot in the. It'll do. He has a 108 megapixel bow down. Samsung player and iPhone. <laughs> we have a debate in our house. I have an iPhone, he has a Samsung. I'm just gonna leave in the back. You're gorgeous, darling. Let's give you Professor Einstein, shall we? So I have all of the pre-order wrapped bouquets done and now I have to get the vases. So this is the pottery that I designed with a local artist. Her name is Andrea Lee Pottery. It's the name of her company as well. And she's about half an hour north from me. Um, I did a video about how I met her and how we connected. And it's been a really great partnership. These have sold out. So what I did find though, <laughs> I was making one the other day for kind of show and if you have any sort of things on your fingers, it smudges easily. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping the vase in tissue paper and holding it there with a rubber band just so I don't accidentally smudge these vases because they're, they're absolutely gorgeous and I don't want my fingerprints on them. Okay, there. 
so I'm just this is how they're gonna pick them up just so they can hold them without worrying about getting the vase dirty and actually Andrea um, gave me a little tag to go along with it with her information on it so I'm gonna do that So for the vases, I'm doing the exact same thing, except for it's going, that's too tall, too tall McGee. A complete vase and they can go home and they can take the tissue paper off and have the vase on display. I'm super happy with the way that looks. I love it. I am quite literally exhausted. <laughs> I have finished all of my pre-orders. And I need to go to the bed because the coffee is just not working. Because it's decaf. And uh, I'm gonna get up bright and early and bring these out to the porch and then make a few extra for the porch sale. So whew, I, I'm super happy with the way they came out. I really like the way the tissue paper looks on them. It does two things. Number one, it's pretty. But not that the vase needed any prettying up, but the vase I felt like needed a little protection. So that is what the tissue paper is for. And it made a little like cuticle thing for Andrea's tag to go on. So yay. Do not break. I almost broke a tulip. It is, I don't even know, a little bit over 6.25 a.m. Um, so people are gonna start arriving in about two and a half hours. The flowers look great. They did exactly what I expected them to overnight. The tulips rose above. And uh, so I, all I did last night, because I was so tired and my knee hurt and my feet were hurting, I did all the pre-orders and I still have to make the extras this morning. So I'm gonna do that after I clean the porch up a little bit and I have to bring all these flowers out to the porch. Once that's settled, I'm gonna start making extras. Look, look how cute they look. See how like the tulips kind of just rose above just a wee bit. I'm really happy with the way they look. Okay, so it's nine o'clock and we already had someone come and get, pick up their pre-order. There's a missing hole right here. Um, I actually might fill that with something from another bucket. But anyway, things are going well. She loved the flowers, thought they were beautiful. So I actually just went and picked, pulled another bucket of tulips just in case, because I only have 16 extra bouquets. I was able to put together 16 extra. These are all the pre-orders, those are all the vases. The, pr the extras are back there on the table. So we will see. Sometimes people will come and want three or four, and then I, I start to panic that I'm not gonna have enough for other people who show up. So I like to have an ample supply. We just saw our first hummingbird of the year. I just ran in, I made food, I put it in the freezer for like 20 minutes and put it in the bird feeder so they have some food because he was not happy. He came to get some hummingbird food in his usual spot and he was unhappy for sure. There's a flower food on it, per okay. use. For you. Perfect. Have a fantabulous day and don't stick yourself in the eye with a dogwood. I'll try. <laughs> I'll try not to. I, I did like twice. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. Thank you. So how's it going? Oh, How good. was Peter's birthday? Oh, it was nice. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. You know. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you too. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying seeing everything of yours grow. Thank you. Your pre-orders from this pile. Okay. And these ones are extra. These are the $30 extras. Okay. And these ones are $20. Okay. Okay. And that's oh all I got. That's the pottery. These are the pottery. Stuff. Yeah, I, those are beautiful. I covered them in tissue paper because I didn't want anything to happen. Fingerprints, even. I was nervous to touch because I'm always dirty. Yeah. So. Well. <laughs> oh. Okay. How do you choose? Good luck. How do you choose? When my grandfather passed away, my grandma was four. They're like from the 60s. Oh my god. They're probably not relevant. Oh my god, but no, I but thought beautiful. Of, yes, I thought of you, and I'd like you to know. Thank you. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? I am well, thank you. Yes. Oh my god, it's been forever. Oh, 
Oh my god! Did you get taller since we graduated? Just a little bit. It's right here. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Has it been a rough day for you? <laughs> Your hands all, are already tan. Yeah. How is that possible? Because you work me like a dog. Oh. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How did we get in there? Look where we are. <laughs> well, here's the after. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my customers, both new and repeat customers. I had so many beautiful faces on my porch today. It was just a really great day. I ended up making bouquets during the entire time. I probably sold, I think, an extra uh, 25 bouquets on top of what was pre-ordered. So that brings me to a total of 65 bouquets this year. 65. That's awesome. That beats anything that I had planned. Really. Brad just went to the store and got something for me to eat for lunch. What'd you get? Lunch meat. All right, we're having sandwiches. We're having Mother's Day weekend sandwiches. It's called brunch on Mother's Day. It's never called lunch. We're brunching. So anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. I have one more customer. Actually, no, I have two more customers coming. I have one bouquet sitting there for a friend of mine named Michelle. And then my cousin Lucas is picking up a few later. So I have to actually go pull more tulips because everything in the garage is gone. I can't complain about that, but I'm going to go and pull more tulips and let them rest and get ready because he's going to pick them up later today. So overall, a very successful Mother's Day weekend. I cannot wait for more tulips because I'm planning on having a bouquet bar with the rest of them that should be blooming in the next week or so. So anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. A couple of minutes ago, you saw one of my customers bring some books on the porch, and that was very special to me. That is Megan, and her grandfather recently passed away, and she brought me some books that he had that were all about gardening, and they're beautiful, and I'm just so honored that she chose me to, um, to take them. So beautiful, made me cry on the porch, not the first time. I think I cried four times on the porch yesterday because one of my customers, Amy, she's an amazing customer. She actually wanted one of my daughter's handwritten car hand drawn cards she wanted Veda to sign it because she wanted to frame it because she thought it was a beautiful piece of art that made me cry all the things make me cry and another thing that's a making me cry I actually ended up having a few more customers that were kind of late to the game and uh, I ended up selling a total of 71 bouquets 71 bouquets in one morning on my porch that is a record for me in one day it's just me i didn't have any help doing this this week i pulled them all and i arranged them all and i did all the work myself it's an extreme amount of work for one person and not only am i proud of that but i'm also a little bit <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. So what a great, great, great day. I want to wish a beautiful and happy Mother's Day to not only my mom, who helps me all the time, but to my grandmother, who is such a special soul, and to my mother-in-law, who also goes out of her way to help me. So happy Mother's Day, guys. I am going to, uh, I wish I could say I was going to relax, but lots of stuff planned on the farm today. Brad's got something in the smoker. That's all I wanted. Anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. I mean, the background of my video, just so you know, please don't swear because I had to delete things the other day because you swore so much. Oh. I did. I did. I had to delete things. Bad potty mouth. It's my chicken. I love you so, so much. I compost the bulbs. How am I going to do this? Okay, I need sleep first. Okay. Oh my god. Forgot about the recording. <sighs> I'm gonna put that in the blooper reel, you burper.